desire and peace are mutually exclusive. You cannot have peace so as long as you desire something. And that includes every desire that you can think of. That includes your desire to do good. That includes your desire to spread the light, the desire to change the world. By virtue of you having that desire, clinging onto that desire, attaching to that desire, and the manifestation of that desire, you immediately, instantaneously, took yourself out of the peaceful state that you as true essence true self always reside in eternally these things are mutually exclusive the minute i have a desire i'm in an agitated state of awareness state of consciousness state of mind i am no longer peaceful so let's say for example i am sitting here and i am uh, observing these trees and it's beautiful and smells good and you know look at these birds or motorbikes you know Maybe you like the sound of motorbikes. I don't, but maybe you're a, you're a psycho and you like that. So anyway, uh, and uh, suddenly an image of an ice cream cone pops up, a desire pops up. Now you could watch it, just come and go, or you could be like, man, I gotta have that ice cream cone. Now watch what happens. You're getting excited. Your body is already beginning to secrete these drugs, dopamine. You're, you're in an agitated state. Oh man, I, I, I'm i gonna go, all right, here. Uh, 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 I'm gonna go get an ice cream cone right now and you get excited, right? You're excited. Okay, so let me get, okay, we got, I, got, I got money here, all right, all right. I'm gonna go get an, and you leave and here we go, bye bye. I'm gonna go get an ice cream cone, right? Well, you just agitated yourself. Uh, and what happens is you're gonna get the ice cream cone and then you're gonna eat it and then your heart rate goes up literally goes up okay so your breathing is now more shallow and uh, you're hyperventilating because you gotta take in more air to process that food that doesn't belong there that's heavy that's dense that's got you know toxins and stuff like that your 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 in your desire led to agitation so now that agitation continues because what goes up must come down so you you know you're Getting the dopamine and the excitement and the rushes there. And you go get your ice cream and you come back. Maybe you get an entire tub. And you like, man, you put on some uh, something to watch. some Something on YouTube or something. And you're like, man, that's a wild bliss. Let's go. Mm, oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, it's so good. And you really indulge yourself there. And after the tub is done, you're sitting there, of course. The, your heart rate goes up. It's racing now because I got to deal with all this food and all this sugar and all this stuff, right? So your system is agitated, but then you're mentally agitated as well because what goes up must come down. So the dopamine goes up and then it's going to crash. It's going to go down and you're going to feel like you're actually going to feel pretty bad after an hour or two because you want another rush. Agitation. See, the desire led to agitation. You're no longer peaceful. So after two hours you're, you know, or an hour even, you're looking for your next rush. And you're like, man, I think a, a, a vegan burger would be really cool right now, you know, like, like vegan stuff, man, really like healthy for you, you know? And then, uh, and then you go for your next rush and you're, you're in a perpetual state of agitation because of your desire. Because of the desires that simply were, you know, just images manifested into desire. Uh, so, you see, you see that, I'll just give you an example here of how uh, desire and peace are mutually exclusive because you're no longer peaceful the minute you decided i'm acting on this desire and i'm pursuing it and i'm seeking it and the minute you indulged yourself in that whole process you're not peaceful anymore how could you be your physiology is not peaceful anymore your organs have to work hard to to, to process that food and and, and and eliminate it but also you went on a rush and you crashed and you want another rush and you're agitated you see, you're agitated. So that's one example, but eventually, pretty much all your desires, every single one of them, lead to agitation. So there is the desire, the noblest of all desires. The noblest. I want to change the world. I want to help my fellow animals, plants, humans, beings, because I love everyone. And I am God, I am compassion, I am loving awareness, 
I am a I am a wanderer, I am a star seed. I am here to help the world. I am here on a mission. That is my desire. It is my desire to witness the ascension process, to witness uh, human beings elevate themselves, uh, to see the planet in an elevated state, to see the vibration rise, to see beings happier, to see world peace. Your desire for peace already took you out of the innate peace, the eternal peace that you are every moment. Ain't that, uh, ain't that funny? I want to see world peace, man. World peace. Noblest of desires. The highest of desires. Even that takes you out of peace. Even that takes you out of the, the moment. That takes you out of the perfection of the moment. Every moment is perfect. Disaster is just as, and war are just as perfect as peace. Because for peace to happen, there needs to be war. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, the duality. The everything has a polar opposite. So now, well, if I hear you correctly, Saeed, then you know, like, uh, fuck the world, right? I mean, what you know? I'm just gonna stop helping. I mean, it's all pointless anywhere, you know. It's all, you know. I, 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 I'm, I'm secretly a nihilist anyway, nihilist, nihilist, whatever. You know, basically, you, you just think there's absolutely zero purpose and, and, and. There's no morality and there's nothing and no, you know, well, I'm just, you know what, I'm just going to go and, and be nihilist. Just fuck everything, you know, like, I'm not going to help the world anymore. Uh, I'm going to go into my depression because who cares anyway, it's all a big nothing. There's nothing anyway, you know, whether I help or not. It's all, I mean, you said it's all perfect, right? Well, okay. So there it, you have, you, it has to do. It has to do with what Lao Tzu says in the Tao Te Ching. Can you remain unmoving until the right action arises by itself? This isn't not helping. I'm not advocating for not helping. I am making these videos, aren't I? They are helping many, aren't they? They, they, they will actually help millions of people, these videos. Just seeing into the future and seeing how it, you know, it all unfolds. These videos will help millions of people. So am I, you know, did I stop spreading the work of light? Am I, I mean, I'm, I'm doing it here. I'm doing it in these videos, right? Am I, did I stop? Am I, I mean, I clearly said you're not practicing what you're preaching. You're saying don't, don't have the desire to help. Don't, 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 don't help. I mean, I'm not saying don't help. I'm saying do not invite the desire to change the world, but act upon whatever the Tao is manifesting through you. And often, because if you're aligned with the Tao, the Tao is very benevolent. So what ends up happening is your actions become very benevolent, but they're not coming from a place of desire. They're coming from a place of being. They're not coming from a place of doing. They're coming from a place of being. Let me give you an example. Uh, say I am here and I'm sitting here and I'm, you know, just hanging out. And I see an old lady there. And she's carrying bags and, you know, she's struggling. So what I may do is I may get up from here and I may go and I may help her. Here, it's okay, you know, I'll, I'll carry these things for you, you know. You know, don't have to worry about it. Right, she smiles, it's a nice moment. And I go and I help her and that's it, right? Now that can be coming from a place of being. Like, hey, you know, I happen to be here. I happen to be young. I happen to have the strength. She happens to be old. And I guess the way the cards are dealt now is that for me, I will just do what is natural, what is in harmony with the Tao, what is in harmony with my true self, with my true essence, which is compassion. And I'm going to help this lady. But I'm not going to think much of it. I'm not going to think, whoa, uh, yeah, yeah, Saeed, uh, yeah, yeah. you're really something, man, aren't you? You're really, really something. I mean, look at you. You're really you're a good person. You're a good person. Good person. Really good guy. Really, really good guy. Really, oh, it's so cute, so cute right that's doing i'm doing now see i'm not being i'm doing and then my desire so now i'm like sitting here i'm like man i gotta help more people you know i gotta help more people i gotta help. and then i go out and i'm looking for people with like bags so that i can carry it for them pretentious isn't that that's pretentious that's not you're not in harmony now you're looking you're seeking you're agitated actually you're in a state of agitation because instead of you walking around Oh, look at a beautiful tree. You're in the moment. You're here. 
you're out there and you're you're agitated you're in a state of desire in a state of uh, you're not peaceful actually you're looking to help someone oh, I'm gonna I need to help someone I'm looking you're looking to help someone oh, uh, 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 you know and uh, and so you're in a state of agitation you're not peaceful anymore you're not peaceful you agitated yourself you're now taking on more than you can you're biting more than you can chew Instead of being in harmony with the Tao, harmony with the universe, seeing where the universe puts you, where the cards are dealt, where the chips are falling, and then acting in accordance with it, you're now actually, that's called the hero complex or the messiah complex. Now you're literally taking on, you know, more than you can, biting more than you can chew. You're taking on more than can be handled at any particular moment. Now you're going out there, you're expanding all this energy, trying to help, Instead of just being in the moment and then acting upon the acting upon the moment, acting upon the flow of the moment, and so uh, like I could uh, I could try to help people with money right now. I'd be like, man, I gotta help people. I'm, I'm gonna start a charity, but you know, I make what I make is I spend. You know, I very much make whatever I make, and you know, that's sort of I have a budget, and, and so if I try to stretch myself any further then I will find myself financially struggling and then now I'm back into the root chakra and I'm back into security and I'm back into, man, I'm not secure. Am I going to even pay my bills? All because I stretch myself too much, too thin. I, I bit more than I can chew. It's not in harmony for me at the moment to start a charity, to help people with money. It isn't. Not in harmony with this particular instrument in its current circumstances in the moment. It is much more harmonious for me to make videos that enlighten people, that bring awareness and wisdom. That's much more harmonious. You see, so I will do that because it's in harmony with the way. It's in harmony with the Tao. My life is in such a way that I have a lot of time to contemplate, to reflect, and to share. And a lot of time to, 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 you know, to learn, to take in learnings from various different uh, channels and uh, people and teachers, humans and non-humans, etc. And uh, that's perfectly in harmony with how my life is at the moment. Perhaps sometime in the future, some money will fall into my hand and I will, I, it will be in harmony for me to start a charity without putting any strain on myself. And it will feel much more harmonious. You see? So, but yeah, the desire, I mean, you know, just by virtue of saying the world's fucked up, man. Look, 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 the world's fucked up. Look, I mean, look, just by me saying that, look at the frown, look at the state of resentment, look at the anger. Fuck, man, the world is fucked. I mean, look what's happening. Oh, you see? See, I'm already getting angry. That's counterintuitive to, to peace. And if I'm not peaceful, if I'm angry, what vibration am I going to put out there as I try to change the world? It's going to be an angry vibration. I'm agitated. I'm not peaceful anymore. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not feeling and seeing and knowing the perfection of everything. I'm not being my true essence in the moment, which is peace. So it turns out peace is the highest virtue. Contentment is the highest virtue. Anything that takes away from your peace, let it go. Stop listening to the news. Stop watching the news. I only found out about this whole World War III and Iran stuff from you guys. Because somebody sent me a message on Instagram saying, what do you think of what's happening with this Iran and World War III stuff? I have to go on Google and look up the news and see what's happening. It was like a week late into, into the scene. Because I, you know, why? Well, I mean, it, if it takes away from my peace, I don't, it's not important. It, it, it's not, it's counterintuitive actually. If it's making me feel angry here, how, what kind of message do you think I'll be putting out here in the videos? It will be an angry, resentful message. Counterintuitive to peace, because we want peace, don't we? So the paradox is if you want peace, be peaceful in yourself. Yesterday I was clever and I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise and I want to change myself. And perhaps the highest desire is to want to change yourself. That may very well be the highest of all desires. And they may very, if you can pinpoint that desire and actually fixate on it long enough, 
and begin to change yourself and not even cleanse you from the desire to change yourself because you, you realize there's nothing to change. I'm perfect as I am. I'm eternal peace. You're eternal peace. So to, 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 to spread peace, because, you know, a lot of you guys are wanderers too. You came here to change the world, help the world, uh, enlighten, in, increase the enlightenment on the planet, help in the ascension process. So to deny your purpose and your mission is foolish. To deny that you, you're here to change the world is foolish. But now let's get technical into it. How do we do that? Do we do that by intellectually? By saying, man, like, this is not, you know, you got to change the world, man. I, I, I will not rest until I, I, until this, this, and this happens. I will not rest. I shall not get any rest. I shall not be calm. I shall not be peaceful until I see peace in the world. And, and so you go on becoming like a militant vegan, for example, right? Uh, you go on agitated. You're in a state of agitation because of your desire to change the world. You agitated yourself. You've left the... Because they're mutually exclusive. You can't be in desire and be peaceful. But the paradox is when you're peaceful, you're like a pure instrument for the Tao and really good things happen in that state. When, you, when a peaceful being is able to channel so much more love and wisdom and peace and joy to the world, thus changing the world by them just being peaceful and not wanting to change the world. Everything is paradox. The whole game is fraught with paradox. It's all paradox. The minute you want it, you can't have it. The minute you give it all up, you have it all. Paradox. Paradox. When you stop wanting to change the world, you have the most impact on, on changing the world in a positive way. Ain't that funny? Ain't that funny? Uh, I think I'll finish off the video with uh, something that I, you know, it's basically summarizing the video. I wrote it on my Facebook. Let me pause. Okay, here we go. My desire to change the world gets in the way of my innate peace. Desire and peace are mutually exclusive. You cannot be peaceful and desire at the same time. It's impossible. Therefore, I relinquish my desire to change the world. I relinquish my desire to do good in this world. I relinquish my desire to change people. This one is very important. I must simply be in harmony with the way. And through becoming one with it, whatever changes need to occur, shall occur, through me or without me, it matters not. It matters not. My greatest service to you guys and to the world, to fulfill my starseed mission, which is to help the world, my wanderer vision here, is to be peaceful. Is to be in joy every moment. Is to realize my true essence and live it moment to moment. Is my greatest service to you guys is truthfully my greatest service to Gaia, which is why I came here. Uh, that is it. It is to relinquish that desire to change anything or help anyone and just be. And in through being, like you think I have a choice making these videos? Like you think, like I mean, <laughs> you, really, you think I have a choice. You think like, you think I cannot not make these videos. It's like, I might as well just go and either learn Mahasamadhi and leave my body or jump off a building because that's what I'm here to do. And by being, I get to fully be that thing that I'm here to do. So by being peaceful, you will have the most impact on changing the world. You will play your part. You will do, your, you will do it impeccably, impeccably. Okay, I, 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 uh, this is not the first time I screw up this word. Impeccably. You will do it impeccably. You see? You will do it impeccably. So, peace is the highest virtue. 
peace is the ultimate prize. And that is something that you can only access on your own, in solitude. Nothing is going to give you peace but you. Nothing is going to make you realize peace, which is you, your true essence, but you. Not, uh, not this seminar or that healing, that healing uh, retreat or these videos or that course or this or that promotion or none of this is going to give you peace. You have to go within. You have to go inwards and realize that peace for yourself. So that's purely inner work. Nothing in the outer world is going to make you realize peace. It's a purely inner, inward journey at this point. Purely inward journey. So if you haven't done your meditation today, go and do your meditation. Because that's the most uh, powerful way of getting in touch with that inner peace. Otherwise, you're always plugged into the maya, the illusion, the external world. Which is agitating because it's constantly pulling you. Constantly, hey, hey, hey come try this food. Yeah, mango and sticky rice, really good. How about pai thai? Really, really good. Hey, is look at it go get try all these spices and everything, right? Hmm, look at this durian, delicious. Oh man, yeah, it's constantly pulling you, pulling you. She, I mean, look, it's a, it's a seductive woman. It's Maya, right? Nothing wrong with playing in Maya as long as you're in your peace. When you're in peace, you don't desire any, so you don't desire, but then Maya comes to you. And so whatever she comes to you, you're like, you accept it. Then everything becomes a gift from Maya. As opposed, you can, if you're chasing Maya, oh, like she'll torture you. But if you, if you don't want anything from Maya and you're peaceful, your peaceful awareness, then she will give you gifts. So everything becomes delightful. She will give you a gift. She will give you a pleasant experience, this and that. Uh... And then you can all obviously get hooked on, on the experience and then that's your trap and then that's your work to your inward work, your inner work to again, I am peace, I am harmony, I am joy. And again, in that joy, in that peace, you will have a great impact on changing the world for the positive. Okay. Mwah. Thank you to all the Patreons for your support. I love you guys so much. And I uh, really appreciate the continuous support. If you get a couple of bucks a month to spare, you got a link for Patreon down below if you want to just make one-time donations to show your appreciation. Those are highly appreciated as well. Links in the description. Saeed Mobayed at Instagram. And until next time, may the force be with you.